But lust doesn't start off lust. There is a seed that is planted first. And when that seed is planted, it creates a desire. When the desire has been conceived, and when the evil desire, it says here, when the evil desire has been conceived, it will bring forth sin. Now, it is inevitable that it will bring forth sin. It's not it might bring forth sin. When it is conceived, it will bring forth forth sin. And when sin is brought forth, it will bring forth death. Now here's why I'm teaching on this subject and, and doing a series on this subject here. It's killing people. People are dying. People are, are, are losing out in that life. People are suffering because of this, this, this little bitty what seems to be insignificant seed called lust. And because of our lack of knowledge of the subject, we're being destroyed and separated from the power of God, from the glory of God, and from the will of God, all because of the lust. Now here's how the devil's got it planned. Yeah, you might get born again. You might be filled with the Spirit of God. You may have the anointing over your life, might be associated with anointed people, and you might have the glory over your life. But the devil says, that's fine, because I have a little process to get everything that you have on you away from you, and it's called lust. I'll steal the glory off you just like I did Adam and Eve. I'll rip the anointing off you just like I did Adam and Eve. And you might look good now, but I'm going to plant this little seed of lust. And it's going to incubate because most people don't pay little things attention until they grow up and become it. And lust is one of those little things that grows up and it becomes. And the next time you see it, it says, hello, remember me? I'm the little insignificant seed that you allowed to get in you and you never dealt with. And so it, it matured on the inside of you. I, I was talking this morning. When my wife came to tell me that she was pregnant with my first child, do you know at that point she looked no different? At that point, you couldn't tell nothing happened. But as what was planted in her began to mature and grow, nine months later, the manifestation of what was conceived was born. And as a result of that, life was born. That seed of lust is the same thing. It's introduced to you through your eyes. It's introduced to you through your ears. It's introduced to you through your mouth. It conceives in your spirit. And you don't think there's any problem with it. You don't think there's any problem laying up all night looking at pornography. Because at that point, you didn't do nothing wrong. You'll sit up there and argue and debate. Well, ain't nothing wrong with this. I'm in the comfort of my own home. I ain't messing with nobody. So ain't nothing wrong with it. But see, you don't understand. You're planting a seed. Conceptions taking place. And nothing happens at that moment. But baby, it's incubating and it is growing and it is maturing. And six, five, three months later, it shows up and says, I'm what you created. So what we've been trying to do in dealing with our problems, we've been trying to cut the leaves off the tree thinking we're killing the tree. And if you want to kill the tree, you got to do more than cut the leaves off the tree. Honey, you got to find out where the root is and you got to kill the root. And so what we're trying to do in this series is we're trying to destroy this tree of sin, this tree of death that comes from this root of lust. You follow me now? Amen. 